Observer Live, Mike Semper, VV, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Well, give me a few moments here, everybody. First off, I'm going to read a couple of things, and uh, we're going to have a little discussion. Bronson Reed heads up the latest list of WWE NXT talent that have been released. A list of 12 talent that broke Friday night as SmackDown was still on the air. The uh, list included two fellas that wrestled on 205 Live after SmackDown. They were cut, and then they were uh, featured on 205 Live. Because you know how far in advance anything is done in this company. We had uh, Bronson Reed, Bobby Fish, Mercedes Martinez, Leon Ruff, Tyler Russ, Jake Atlas, Ari Sterling, Kona Reeves, Zachariah Smith, Asher Hale, Giant Zangier, Stephen Smith, and Denzel Desjarnet, Desmond Troy. All of them... Cut from WWE. There are rumors that there are more to come, but I do want to make this abundantly clear. They've cut a bunch of people before, and there have been rumors that there were more to come. And I'd say about 50% of the time, the rumors are true. And about 50% of the time, the rumors are not true. We'll find out tomorrow. Raw is in Orlando, and anybody who has not been cut is probably petrified waiting for tomorrow when Vince is in Orlando with his flaming sword. The recent round of WWE NXT cuts were made by Vince McMahon, Bruce Prichard, and John Laurinaitis, and more changes are coming to the brand, according to Dave Meltzer on Saturday's Observer Radio. Meltzer said Paul Levesque and Shawn Michaels had nothing to do with the Friday night cuts that saw 13 talents released, including Bronson Reed, Bobby Fish, and Mercedes Martinez. Meltzer said the mentality is that NXT is going to change in some ways, likely going back to the earlier days of developmental, with getting talent that are younger, bigger, and that could someday main event at WrestleMania. The feeling is they lost the war with AEW and are getting back to it. Younger and bigger talent, Meltzer said, adding there are dev- uh, decisive opinions with key decision makers as to what wrestling is. Right now, the sight of younger and bigger has McMahon's ear. According to Dave, the wording is, quote, no more midgets, no one starting in their 30s, and people who can be box office attractions and main characters. So, a couple of things right here. First off, if you look at the list of talent here, as I went down with Dave, I mean, some of them, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's funny, but like, you know, I was watching Tyler Rust as Rust Tyler on New Japan Strong like four months ago. Because they literally hired him six months ago, and they've already released him. So somebody on the board said, well, does, this, does all of this apply to the women? And I said, well, I mean, being tall does not apply to the women. But they don't want anyone over 30 who is a female. And then someone was like, oh, well, they just signed Ty... No, they signed Ty Valkyrie six months ago, okay? They signed Tyler Russ six months ago, all right? The deal is, and I know this because there have been a few individuals that I'm aware of that probably have a lot of potential in wrestling, but guess what? They're females over 30, and so they didn't even get a look at. Because this guy, Vince, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, he changes his mind on a regular basis. This has nothing to do with the cuts, but if you watch SmackDown on Friday, they literally, at the beginning of the show announced that Zelina Vega was going to get a championship match on the show. They had a graphic made up that said women's championship. And then less than an hour later, there was a new graphic that said championship contender match. So anyway, if you think that something that happened three months ago or six months ago, it's going to be like the gotcha moment for this. Well, it's not. Okay. Okay. This is the new decree as of right now. This bro could wake up tomorrow with a new decree and everything could change. But right now, at this exact moment, that's the decree. They don't want short people. They don't want short men. They don't want skinny men. They don't want anyone over 30. They don't want any women over 30. I mean, if you're mad about it, don't get mad at me. Now, NXT. I've heard hunters, these, these fans are all up about this hunter. And uh, if you watched SmackDown and were looking on the on the internet on Twitter, you saw Nick Khan. His name was trending. Why? Well, because we have a number of fans, a lot of fans, and I should say that they should know better, 
but I hear the same thing from wrestlers. So I'm just going to try to smarten everybody up right here. This is not Nick Khan. This is not, oh, Vince liked me, but Nick Khan decided that we were going to do some budgetary cuts. Bro, Nick Khan is in a very powerful position in WWE. Nick Khan is going to make a lot of recommendations to Vince. Vince is going to listen to a lot of what Nick Khan says because Nick Khan has made some decisions that have paid off very handsomely for WWE. But let me tell you something, and you all know this deep down. If Nick Khan went up to Vince McMahon and he said, you know this Jimmy Uso, he got another uh, DUI. We got to cut this guy. He's not getting cut. Because Vince McMahon is not going to cut the Usos or Roman Reigns because he wants to do the Samoan dynasty, uh, head of the table, uh, tribal chief storyline with Roman Reigns and The Rock. So it doesn't matter what Vince tells you when you walk into his office. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. The person who made the decision for every single one of these cuts is Vince. End of story. You could tweet about Nick Khan if you want Nick Khan to be the bad guy and it makes you feel better because Vince is like the god of pro wrestling that you bow to. And he could, That's fine. You could do that. But let's, let's get into reality right here. Do you know what is happening in two weeks besides SummerSlam? Vince McMahon is turning 76 years old. Anyone out there know someone who's 76? Okay. I'm sure there are exceptions. But for the most part, you ain't teaching these old dogs new tricks. So, you guys remember back even when NXT was like on fire and they were selling out these takeover events and the place was going crazy? You guys remember what everyone was always talking about back then? Oh, Vince wasn't at the show. Oh, why didn't Vince go to takeover? And then like, you know, every four shows, Vince would say, he would tweet something about, yes, I saw takeover. I was very impressed. Bro, you think Vince ever understood what was going on with NXT when it was hot and you and me and Mike and all these people in the Twitch chat thought it was like the greatest thing in the world? You think this guy got it? No. Vince McMahon understands one style of wrestling. He understands one way for women to get over. Despite what he said and pushed as the women's evolution and all this, he knows one type of woman that he wants to get over and he knows one type of man that he wants to get over. And if you don't fit that mold, too bad. Your ricochets, oh, they're spectacular, they're great. It doesn't matter. Every now and then, every once in a great while, a Daniel Bryan will be given a chance, and Vince will be kicking and screaming to prevent it. But the guy will get over and things will go on. And then, you know, we're just back to normal again. So, yeah, we're back to where things were in 2013 with FCW and developmental and the same old hiring practices they've had for a thousand years. We want you to be 6'2". We want you to be 225. When you jump up and down, nothing better jiggle. It's the same stuff it's always been. And if you believe for one second that this ever really changed, think again. A leopard does not change its spots a 76-year-old dude who's done things one way his whole life, he ain't ever going to change. So if you're mad at Laurinaitis, if you're mad at Hunter or Sean or whatever goofy scapegoat you want to be mad at because you still want to bow when Vince comes out because he's the god of wrestling, go ahead and live in your fantasy land. But in real life, you may as well live in real life and see the way the things are going to be. Anyone want to say real quick, Mike, before this break? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Back to the way things used to be. And it ain't ever going to change. There's always going to be a Laurinaitis and a Jim Ross and a Nick Khan. Oh! But get with reality, everybody. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.